Welcome to this Expert Mode Base Extension 12 What's New video. In this video, I would like to demonstrate the new improved cutout logic for ejector pins. With EMX 12, the component options for ejector pins are displayed inside of a separate tab. The cutout images are displayed in the bottom of the dialog. They are all redrawn and show all variable cutout dimensions. I select the flathead ejector pin. As an assembly reference, I select the point defined in the reference part. The trim option is now visualized with the blue symbol in the cutout image. The new option with chamfer allows you to decide whether a chamfer should be added to the ejector head cutout or not. All types of ejectors can also be placed as core pins. The cutout image changes. A core pin cutout will only be added to one plate. In the fixed rotation pull down menu, four different types of anti twist cutout types can be selected. The rotation fixture cutout shape is displayed in the cutout image. The ejector pin can be rotated by changing the ref angle value in the nominal dimension table. Once in a while it can happen that the rotation fixture itself needs to be rotated. This can be done by the CA angle in the cutout dimensions table. The ejector pins with all defined options will be added to the mode base and all cutouts are created inside the plates. The new options for ejector pins give you more flexibility while assembling ejector pins. With the new detailed images, you have now better control about all variable dimensions. The Creo Mini Toolbar is a handy feature to reduce clicks and save time during your mode based design. With EMX 12, the component handling functionalities are now available in the Mini Toolbar. When selecting a point in the graphics window, the mini toolbar appears. In the top line you will see all EMX component icons. Select the screw to define a new screw on the selected point. You are now automatically asked to select the missing assembly references. The first placement surface and the thread surface. Finish the definition of the screw by selecting the correct instance in the nominal dimensions table. The screw model and the cutouts are added to the mold base. When selecting the screw in the graphics window, you will now see the modify, remove, as copy and reassemble buttons in the mini toolbar. Modify the screw. And finally, delete the screw. The mini toolbar can help you to fulfill your design tasks more efficient. Reduce clicks and save time during the design of mold based components, which gives you a much better overview about all assembled mold based components. The new summary tree contains all assembled plates, guide components, screws and pins and additional equipment components. The type description, the ordering number and major dimensions for each component help you to keep track of your current mold-based design. By switching to the top view of the mold base, the summary tree will change its content. The tree shows now an overview about all mold-based patterns. The visibility state the major dimensions and the number of instances are displayed in the tree table. To improve the usability, a new right mouse menu is now available. The right mouse menu can either be opened in the 2D drawing area or by selecting the nodes in the new summary tree. Within this menu, you can add plates above existing plates,
or you can add a plate below existing plates. Additionally, guide components can be placed on existing plates. All types of components can be modified. And finally, they can also be removed from the mold base definition. With this new feature, the mold base definition in Expert mold base extension is easier than ever before. The new right mouse menu improves the usability during the definition of components and plates. At the same time, all component information is stored in the new summary tree.